Hello to everybody tuning in from around the world. Within this presentation, Hatch is proud to present our remote inspection and monitoring system developed with business continuity in mind during the COVID-19 pandemic. Speaking to you right now, my name is Mitchell Henstock. I'm a technical specialist within the non-destructive testing group here at Hatch. And joining me in this presentation is my colleague within the non-destructive testing group, Blair Kleimenhaga, who will now be taking you through some of the key aspects of the remote monitoring and inspection methods. The spread of COVID-19 has limited the ability for Hatch personnel to travel to site and provide critical on-site services. To counter this, Hatch has expanded services to offer remote assistance. Using similar functionality to industry adopted applications like Skype or Microsoft Teams, our remote services support video broadcasting between an on-site party with a camera, smartphone, or tablet to a remote expert receiving the video feed. A key strength of our tools are that they are optimized for the low band of situations which can be expected on some sites. To summarize the system, a call can be initiated from the control center to one or more users on site. The control center can then jump from one camera view to another, supervising the work being completed. While the video quality may fluctuate in resolution and frame rate depending upon network strength, the control center or the wearer can initiate a high resolution photo or video from the wearer's device and instantly transfer that information back to the control center. The entire call can also be recorded so that the observations and impressions of the personnel on site can be referred to again later. With the information provided from site, the supervisor is able to actively provide verbal feedback, annotate the on-site staff's view, and display a variety of files on the on-site staff's devices. This supervision process has been tested thoroughly by the NDT group and is now being used to remotely complete on-site inspections, which would have conventionally required travel to site. To complete our inspections, a hard hat mounted camera and a tablet are shipped to site for the client to wear slash position. If needed, the software can also be downloaded from the App Store or Google Play Store onto an on-site personnel's phone, where they can be used as an additional video source. These sources are then used to supervise the completion of work. To help visualize the system in action, we've prepared a trial demonstration that very quickly walks through the basic functionality of the system. As the video plays, you can follow along with which camera view is in use by tracking the orange box around the various camera views on the right side of your screen. Yeah, so I'm starting on you. I'll quickly go back and show me in the office just so everyone can see me supervising. Okay, I'll go back to you. All right, so you had mentioned that there are uh, some defects in this wall on the left. Uh, let's take a look at that. I'll swap over to your, your hard hat camera so I can look at it for myself as well. Okay, and I'll turn on the light so I get a, a good view of it. Okay, yeah, I see those defects there, uh, but it looks like there's another defect down, uh, down here on the right side. Uh, do you wanna get a little bit closer to that so I can get a better look. Also just confirm that we're on, yeah, we're on 720. Okay, yeah, so it looks like there is a bit of delamination. I'll, I'll take a photo of that just for our records. I'll share that photo with you. Yep, you can definitely see a bit of uh, delamination there. You can see the rebar underneath. Okay, great. Um, I'll go back to uh, the tablet view just so I can get a good view of the workspace. Um, but let's let's measure the distance um, between these uh, standard defects, like the rebar that's poking through up there. If you just want to pull up a tape measure and we can go take a look at those. Get back into your hard hat camera. I'll turn the light on. Okay, yep, got a good view of that. I'll take a picture so we have that value recorded. I'll share that with you so you can see it as well. Yeah, it looks like it's a, about a foot in between those defects in the concrete. Okay, great. And then I'll go back to uh, their overall view just so I get a bit, uh, bit of an understanding of the space. Um, before we go into uh, your thermal camera, you mentioned that you'd seen some thermal anomalies in the workspace. Uh, so I'll just, I'll swap back into your uh, your hard hat camera 
and I'll enable the thermal camera. So I'll put on the fusion one, that's uh, the thermal view and the pictorial view overlaid. Um, so I can see your, your computer is quite warm. Uh, but let's go take a look at that, uh, that thermal anomaly you had mentioned on that left wall. Okay, I can, I can see what you're talking about. It looks like quite a bit of uh, heat is coming down through the joists. Um, I'll take a photo of that again just for our records. I'll share that with you so you can get an idea of the temperatures. But yeah, if you can see from the legend, uh, it's pretty hot up there, up to 30 degrees. Awesome. All right. I think that's everything we want to see. Transition back to uh, the general camera again. Do you want to give us a thumbs up? Good work. Here is a recording from a recent remote inspection. To start, a photo was taken from the hard hat mounted camera of the personnel on site and then annotated with the locations of where measurements were to be taken. As can be seen on the bottom right, the worker transferred the markings to the sidewall while I was able to supervise. Once transferred, I was able to review and direct the worker to add additional identification to each of the lines, which would be useful later in the inspection for coordination. As this was completed, I was able to provide a final review, take a high resolution photo, and transfer it back to the office. The photo taken is shown here on the right. Here is an accelerator recording of one of the acoustic measurements being completed. On the left is the video feed, and on the right is the data acquisitioning system, which is being remotely controlled. Using these two systems, I was able to supervise the signal generation process, i.e. impacting the furnace with a hammer, as well as capture the data produced. While there is no replacement for sending personnel to site, the move to remote monitoring has allowed our group to continue to provide the crucial services our clients depend on without the ability to travel. With so much uncertainty around the status of site visits during this current pandemic, it is important to keep in mind that there are alternatives to physically being on site. The use of remote inspection and monitoring systems demonstrated in this video is just one way that technology can help keep projects running during these trying times. Thank you for your attention, and if you have any questions about the information presented, please feel free to reach out to any of the names that you see on screen right now, as we would all be happy to help.